going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here. I want to talk to you guys about GTA 5 and how Kmart and Target have bitched out and are not carrying the game now. The uh, definitive or PS4 and Xbox One editions of Grand Theft Auto 5. I hate when conglomerates and big companies fold under pressure, especially when you're dealing with unsavory groups and people who decide to focus on one aspect of life versus the myriad of areas of life that one particular genre or thing are involved in. Let me explain to you guys. Grand Theft Auto has always been a very violent game. Uh, not necessarily violent against women. Uh, I guess it all depends on the player. I guess the older you get, the more mature you play that game, but it might not be true. But me personally, when I played GTA 5, I didn't go around beating up hookers and doing dumb shit. I played the game as it was intended to be played, and when I was done with the story mode, I was finished with the game. I tried out some of the, you know, special features and all the little things that you can do in GTA 5, but for the most part, I got my Grand Theft Auto crazy days out of the way early. I played Grand Theft Auto 3, I played San Andreas, I played games like that. And so, uh, years ago I would. I'd, I'd get five stars up, and uh, I'd run around and create all kinds of havoc and run people over and snipe people's heads off and shoot tires. And uh, now I'm at this, the point in my life where that really doesn't intrigue me as much. So when I play a game like GTA, I want to get the story done, play it, and then that's it. Because after you play Grand Theft Auto, pretty much all you do is do the little side things, golfing, you know, going to clubs, stupid shit. Or, or you run around and you, you cause trouble and you outrun the law and all kinds of shit like that. So to me, Grand Theft Auto has never really been a game that was focused on uh, violence against women like some people want uh, these huge companies to believe. This article is on ABC.net and uh, it's pretty big news right now. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have heard this that Target and Kmart have pulled the game from the shelves. Target and Kmart have pulled the video game Grand Theft Auto 5 off shelves over controversy about the game's depiction of violence against women. The R-rated game has been available on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 for more than a year but was re-released last month on Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. A change.org petition calling on the retailer to withdraw the game from sale gained more than 44,000 signatures. The women behind the petition, named on the site as Nicole, Claire, and Kat, said as survivors of sexual violence, they felt the game sent a dangerous message. It's a game that encourages players to murder women for entertainment. The incentive is to commit sexual violence against women, then abuse or kill them to proceed or get health points. I never knew I never knew you got health points in GTA for murdering and killing women. And now <laughs> Target is stocking it and promoting it for your Christmas stocking, the petition said. So that's their quote. That uh you you beat women, you sexually assault women. And then you murder them to get health points. This does not sound like a Grand Theft Auto game that I know. Unless they put a, a special mode in Grand Theft Auto 5 that I didn't know about. Uh, the quote continues. This misogynistic Grand Theft Auto 5 literally makes a game of bashing, killing, and horrific violence against women. Target General Manager of Corporate Affairs Jim Cooper said the decision to stop selling the game was made following extensive community and customer concern. Quote, we've been speaking to many customers over recent days about the game, and there is a significant level of concern about the game's content, Mr. Cooper said in a statement. We've also had customer feedback in support of us selling the game, and we respect their perspective on the issue. However, we feel the decision to stop selling GTA 5 is in line with the majority view of our customers. A Kmart spokesperson said, following a significant review of all the content in GTA 5 games, which must have been a hell of a review, Kmart has taken the decision to remove this product immediately. Kmart apologizes, apologizes for not being closer to the content of this game. This is absolute bullshit. Uh, if they can do something like this on change.gov, which is a, a, a wash if you ask me anyway, they, they petition in to take Grand Theft Auto out of the stores because it's a game about violence against women, which is total bullshit. Pisses me off that these chicks, because they've dealt with uh, physical violence. Women deal with violence, men deal with violence. If you want to fight violence, fuck it. Fight, fight violence. Don't fight violence against women. You know, I'm a man. I don't want a violent attack on myself. Because I'm a man, it's okay. 
Women and men face violence every day. Women go into the armed forces every day. There are video games that show violence against men and violence against women. That's just the reality of it. It's art. Now, I'm not saying that every artist out there is going to write a story or, or create a game or a world where women are just getting their faces blown off. But if it's, if it's the way you decide to depict a tale from your imagination, who are who is somebody else? These three chicks to say that the way you've written it is wrong and people should not be able to enjoy that. I mean, they got movies like Kill Bill. Kill Bill shows the main character getting raped in a hospital, right? Getting raped and getting her ass kicked and women dying left and right. But I'm pretty sure that when this movie came out, these women weren't all over a change.gov website trying to get the movie removed. There are different types of art and different types of stories being told. And like I said, Grand Theft Auto is a pretty, pretty extreme game when it comes to uh, allowing people to do what they want to do as far as being violent and, and just killing people. It's just the way that game is, is, is created. It's the culture of that game series. But there is no reason at all to consider this game a game about violence and women. Violence against women. It's total bullshit. And there was somebody sitting at home, probably got done watching Oprah eating some bonbons and said, let me start some shit. Let me call two of my buddies and get this petition started. And most of these parents don't play these games, so they don't know. When they hear stupid shit like this game, you get health points for beating women's ass and murdering them in Grand Theft Auto. Anybody who hears that is going to say, really? That's what that game's about? Yeah, I'm going to sign that fucking petition. These people don't play the game. And these women obviously don't. And it pisses me off that this kind of stuff happens. It just really does. And things like this make me not want to support certain companies. Kmart, Target. Target is alright. Kmart's basically dead in the dust right now anyway. You guys let me know what you think about this story. Is Grand Theft Auto a misogynistic game about beating women, raping women, and slowly murdering them for health points? Or is this story total bullshit? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.